Hi there, folks. It's a Friday morning. It is just after 7.30 on a Friday morning. And as you can see, uh, with the sun streaming through the back of his uh, windscreen, uh, the back windscreen of his car, MX is on his way. Uh, we're getting the show on the road this morning with MX from Rebecca. A very good morning, MX. Looks like the sun's shining brightly down there. Yes, yes, Nico. Good morning, Nico. How are you, man? Yeah, we, the sun is very clean today. We've got a nice day. I'm looking forward to the today's rest meeting. I'm looking forward to it too. Uh, there has been a bit more rain this week, thankfully. Um, I'm looking here 11 millimeters in the last seven days. So that's good news for you guys. But um, the going is posted good to soft. It may well turn out good with looking behind you and seeing that nice bright sun. And it'll dry up significantly during the course of the day. Let's go straight to it. Um, we're starting off in race number one. Now, last week, the meeting was changed from the turf to the poly. Um, that first race of the day, that Candace Bass Robinson's got absolute pleasure in the race. Um, do you rate her very hard to beat, like Nino did with me last night? Yes, Nico, when you're looking at the, the first race, uh, it's 1,000 meters, mate and, mate and juvenile pledge. Yeah, I think uh, that was for the kind is um, going to be too good for the horses in P. Yeah, because I see it, it ran on a, a feature race in Cape Town and then came second behind the Melza. Yeah, I think the horses going to be too good for the P e horses. You've heard so, nothing about you've heard nothing about the the newcomers the the babies that haven't run yet. Well, I call them babies. They'll they'll turn three on Monday, but they're still two year olds today. You've heard nothing about none of the unraced horses. No, 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 nothing yet, Nico. But I do. I I I think when I have to put my head on the block, I will have to include the the one for the Alan Alan Cliff, Lady Lady Ch Chatouche. Yeah. yeah. You know that Greg Sheen's yeah. leaving us. Greg Sheen's going now. Today's his last meeting there today. Oh, ah, uh, that's good. Uh, I, hope, I hope. I hope. So make sure that. Yeah, you I hope he's going to have a good day today. I hope he's going to have a good day today. Maybe give one or two winners for Chris. For Chris. I'm, I'm sure you will. I'd be paying particular attention to Chris and Sheen today with him having his last meeting there. I'm sure he's. He's going to want to impress. Okay, let's go to race two, which is the start of the bipod. There are nine races today. So race two goes off at midday. It's a maiden plate over 1,400 meters. What did you make uh, the horses to beat in the second race? Yeah, I'm going with number five, Global Pit. Uh, so that's Craig Chin with Alan Cliff. <laughs> and then followed by number nine, Dami. That's, that's Craig. Yeah, that's uh, Charlie Jovo with Cliff. Mm. And then number one, Mark Tavish from Smith. And then number three from Mackenzie. That's Jackson, Mississippi. Mississippi. But the horse to beat is uh, uh, Greg Sheen's Mount Global Beat. Global Beat. I'm going to Global Beat to win the rest there. Okay. So it's 5.13 for the second race. Okay. On to the third race, half past 12. A maiden played Phillies and Mares, 1,400 meters. Um, I think if we had a look at it, uh, Nino is very strong on Sharon Cotson's horse here. Claire, do you agree? Um, I'm also, I'm also, I'm also very strong on that horse. I also like the horse Enclair to win the race. Yeah, so I'm going with Enclair to beat Red Sphere from from Smith from uh, Smith. Number eight. Mayor on top. Yeah. So and then I'm going number two, Saint Patrick's Day, and seven, Flowers of Night. Okay, so six, eight, two, and seven there with Eclair, the top selection. Race four is off at one o'clock. It's a Phillies and Mares 86 handicap. It's over 1,400 metres. So again, Nino was big on Greg Sheenia on Phoenix. I know we've took Phoenix before. It's been a bit disappointing. It's been there or thereabouts. But do you think Phoenix will win today from a two draw? Yeah, Nico, that's the first leg of the pick six, no? That's correct. It's, this is the opening leg of the pick six and jumps at one o'clock today. Yes, yes. Yeah, on, on that one, I have to choose the number one, Phoenix, as my banker for the day. I think it's the banker for the day, Phoenix. You think it'll uh, win? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I'm confident with Phoenix today. I think it's a banker for the day. Mm -hmm. On my pick six, I'll, I'll, on my pick six, I'll open with a banker. Banker number one, Phoenix. Okay, well, that's short and, and sweet. And MX bankering Phoenix in the opening leg of today's pick six. 
Race five jumps at 20 to two. The first leg of the first jackpot, a merit rated 78 handicap. It's over a mile. Um, this one is a bit more difficult. How did you see this one working out? Yes, 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 my, uh, Nico. Uh, this one, I'm going with number 12. Yeah, for my first choice is my first choice, number 12. Ryan Manga with Tara, Gold Rock. Mm, I see uh, the was ran second behind him, Shabani last time. And I think the was we like the turf more than yeah. the forty track. So I'm taking number 12, my first choice, followed by number six, that is Irish Rain. Then by number two, Cover Strike, and then seven, Coffee Break. Okay, you like a bit of the two, even though it's drawn terribly, Gavel Strike. Okay, first run there for um, for the new trainer. Yeah, yeah, the first run, but I like the fact that there was a run behind it, we priced this Lura, Grimaldi. I think those spirit of my faith, I think those are the good horses in Japan. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going 12, 6, 2, 7 in that second okay. leg of the pick I like six. The, your way of thinking there. I believe with you that Gold Rock is well suited to the um, to the course, to the turf course, and also that Ryan Munger's ridden it four times for one win, one second, and two thirds. I'm sure you'll be picking yeah. up Ryan shortly when he arrives from Johannesburg. So maybe... Yes, yes, uh, when you chat to Ryan, tell him Nico says you must win on Gold Rock, please. Okay. Yeah, yeah definitely. I think that I think that's his best right for the day. Yeah. I think that's his best right for the day. So in second leg of the pick six is number 12, 6, 2, and 7. Okay, on we move to race six, the start of the second jackpot at 20 past two. It's a merit rated 72 handicap up the straight 1,200 meters. Uh, see, Ryan's got another ride for Tara here on Razor Red. You mentioned that this horse would be scratched last week because it wouldn't run on the poly track, but it's back on the turf today. So do you like Razor Red on the turf today? Yes, 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 Nico. Uh, and, and, and at race six, I really like number one, Razor Red, followed by number eight. That is Tori Oleg uh, with uh, Mackenzie with corner offer. And then yeah. number 15. And then number 15, that, that is Rez Red Latin. I saw last time the, it, it was a cracker run from Rez, Rez Red Latin. It was. So now, yes, yes. And it was drawn 17, and it's drawn 17 again this time around. Yeah, that's right, yeah. 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 yeah, so I think the Rez Red Latin would be there, as well as number 13, Nave of Diamonds. He ran third behind Narcos. Yeah, I like that, uh, that run. That behind that court, yeah, mm. that was a good run. He's carrying is two kilos less from the last weight that he was carrying. Drone three, better draw this time around. He was drawn eight last time. Same jockey, Alton Weber. Elton Weber. I think you have to include. So in the third leg of the pick six, I'm gonna go with one, eight, fifteen, and thirteen. Okay, one razor red uh, ahead of eight, fifteen, and thirteen. Chuck and knave of diamonds. MX likes that a little bit in race six. Feature race time race seven is off just before three o'clock this afternoon. The listed champion juvenile cup over fourteen hundred meters. Yeah, you've got Brett Crawford coming with his horse Port Louis from Cape Town. Loon got to rides. Do you think this is the horse to beat? Yes, it's a, this is a horse to beat, Nico. It's the one horse for the Crawford Staple they're bringing to take this one. But I'm going to challenge them, Nico. I will have to challenge them. Really? With what? I have to challenge them with a cheer for me. I have to challenge them with a cheer for me. Yeah, number nine. Very good PE horse and uh, gets yes. the path straight and back. Gets the weight yes. allowance, two and a half kilograms from the Colt. You think the Philly's yes. going to give the Colt something to think about today? It, it is true. It is true. You can't leave that was out. So I have to challenge Port Louis with a share for me. Right. And then I'm adding, and then I'm adding number three, Forest Spy, as well as number four, Kaya Swap. Okay. So you are, you don't say I must, I, I can't bank a Port Louis eh, in the pick six. I must put in the no. other. No, 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 don't bank her. No, don't bank her. Don't bank her. Okay. No, no, cheer for me. You, you called cheer for me last time. You saw I did, I did, me. and I was extremely impressed. Extremely and impressed with it. Yes, I did, and I was extremely <laughs> impressed. 
I went to go and meet the owners. I know one of the owners, uh, Vishal Mungru. He's a Jovic boy. And I know Shepard Shumba is a good Zimbabwean lad that I knew yeah. um, from quite some time back. Anyway, okay, so Don Banker is the uh, word from MX with uh, the feature race, Port Louis today. Let's move to race eight. Classified stakes, fillies and mares uh, run at 28 minutes to four. It's over 1,400 metres. Big field. What do you fancy in race eight? Looks tough. Yeah, yeah, yes. And in race, race eight, I'm fencing number five, keeping the peace. I was impressed with the last run last time on Poly Trek. And then the horse was supposed to run last week. And then the, when the course was changed, they, they scratched the horse. Maybe they know something there from that horse. There's something that they know. Why they scratched the horse? Because when I look at it, it ran on the poly track first time in PE. And then the second time they scratched it because of the surface. That it was poly track again. Yeah. So that means they know that the horse is good on turf. So yeah. I'm number five as my first choice in verse eight, keeping the peace. To be followed by number three, Anatura, who has, hasn't done anything wrong since coming to PE. First time winning 66 to 1, then ran 4 to point strike. So it's 5, 3, 16, and 2. 5, keeping the piece to beat 3, Anatura, which you picked at uh, 66 to 1 when it won two runs ago. 16, did you say, for third? Yes, yes, is this, is this, yeah. Is he Esther? Is he Esther? Yeah. That's uh, yeah. Tara Lang again. So you're liking that Tara Lang and Gavin Fentis stable today with a lot of their horses. Watch out for them because you've mentioned yes, them a yeah. few times. The last race today, race nine runs at seven minutes past four. It's a Phillies and Mare 78 handicap. It's over 1,000 metres. How are we going to end off the day? You're usually good with this last race of the day, picking nice horses for the quartets and that. It's another big field in that last race. So what are we doing? It's a big field, Nico, and as well as as well is the last leg of the pick six. That's where most of the tickets fall here. Yeah? Yes. So you you have to be clever when taking your pick six on the last race and maybe fill the leaks at least in some few horses because I think it's about it's about eighteen horses that's going to, going to run. Yes. So, so you got a load my up. first. Yes, yes. My first choice is the horse that is drawn seventeen. That is wire, 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 wire. wire. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I like the horse. The horse ran second last time on Poly yeah. behind the Fetra. Behind Fetra, and I think it's the value bet for me. Wire, wire. I don't know what, what are the odds. I'm going to find out what the odds are now to just help you along. What are the dangers? The dangers are number two. That is civil rights. Yes. And as well as number nine, Fedra. And number five, that is variety price. Okay. Now the price on your horse in race nine um, is eight to one wire wire yes. number eleven. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I will take that one yeah, with a uh, with with uh, Phoenix as my super my super double. Your super day. double. Now I think yes. we'll use that in future. MX is super double today. Yes. Um, yes. he is taking Phoenix uh, onto Wire Wire. Both Alan Freer fronts. Yes. Fantastic, yeah. MX. It's great chatting to you. I love chatting to you. Um, you dressed up in the Kaiser Chiefs uh, colours today. I mean, are you a Kaiser Chiefs fan? Who do you support? No, 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 no. This is this is just mustard. I'm a Orlando Paris big fan. Big yeah, fan but you dress in. Are you a, so? No, this is this is mustard. This is mustard. It's not oh, like it's, it's not yellow. It's mustard. Okay. Well, I. I Otherwise, you, otherwise, you're going to make me paint my T-shirt because I... No, that's like what I'm saying. It looks yellow in the sun. Um, yeah. If, if Jessica Motoong had to see you now, she'd think you were a Kaiser Chiefs fan. Um, but uh, No, no, no chance. Those are my biggest rivals. Those are my yeah. biggest enemies. No, no okay, ways. so Pirates. Pirates, uh, you're a big Pirates fan. MX. I'm a big Pirates fan. MX, all the best for the day. Um, as you know, we, we're working on uh, a sponsor for this particular show. Um, we'll announce that hopefully in the new season. 
Um, it's getting the show on the road with MX from Kareja on a Friday morning, just before eight o'clock. We thank you for your input. All the best for today. And uh, say how's it to all the jockeys when you pick them up shortly. Thank you, Nico. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Thanks very much. Enjoy, enjoy the Gold Cup tomorrow. Before you go, what are you tipping? What's going to win the Gold Cup in Durban? Uh, the Gold Cup, I, I like the, the horse from uh, Sean Terry. Which one? He's got two. Nebras. I like Nebras. Nebras, Nebras yeah, to win the Gold Cup again. Lot like last yeah, year. Yeah, I like Nebras and I like the I mean, the following race. What is the, the rest the, the rest after the Gold Cup? Jet Duck. Oh, it's the Champions Cup. You like Jet Duck? Yeah. Yeah, Jet Duck. So those two I like. Yes, uh, your your super double for tomorrow. Oh, yes, yes. That's my super double. Nebras into Jet Duck. Into Jet Duck. MX, thanks very much. Eh? Go well and enjoy the rest of today's racing from Fairview. We'll chat again to you on Monday because Monday there's more racing down there on the poly track. So we look forward to seeing you after the weekend. Thank you so much, Nico. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. Cheers for now. Thank you.